Hello there everybody. Maybe I say this a lot, but this puzzle is really, really brilliant, I would say. Uh, of course, I try to find the most uh, brilliant puzzles and uh, clever ones all the time, but I think I find a really good one this time, for sure. So, white is on the move and we are winning this. Despite that we're up against two knights, we can still win this. Our pawn is, of course, going in this direction, so it's far away from promoting and there's a king in the way also and since this is a pawn on the a file we cannot uh, exchange our rook for two knights because this will not queen uh, the king can stop it so we need to win by taking at least one of these rooks i mean one of these knights of course from black or some other tactic thing i don't know it's up to you to find really so you should pause your video now see how white can win this and when you return, I will show you the solution. Go ahead. And welcome back. So, the solution to win this is to trap one of these knights. They are actually very badly placed. And we have an opportunity to take at least one of them. Uh, let me show you. This is not right. But if we try to attack right away, this knight has to move. It can move maybe here. And then it looks like uh, we can pin them against each other. But we really cannot. There's just a check here. And if we attack, the next knight will go here and they protect each other. And even if we, as I said before, will take this both knights for a rook, well, this is not winning. Even if we were not losing this pawn, it's not winning anyway. So we need to find a move to move the king. So he cannot check us, not even in two moves from, from here. And the only place to go is king b2. From here, black cannot come in two moves to get a check. So this is brilliant. This is the solution, king b2. And it's not easy to see, for sure. Let me just show you what happens if we go, for example, to king a2. Well, he can attack our knight. Our rook like this, and we play uh, rook e3, uh, and it looks like we're going to win one knight, but we're not, because he will attack again, and now if we take, there will be a fork like this, and we lose our rook. So, that means we cannot go to a2, because there will be a check in two moves, uh, like this and this, or uh, like this and this etc. So the right move is king b2. Now look at this. Okay, now we're actually <coughs> threatening the rook to g3 and he cannot do anything <coughs> about it. Let's look. This uh, knight cannot go here or here. It will be taken by our rook. If he goes here, well, we have this uh, pin here and we'll take one of them. And as I said, there's no check now to save him. Same if he goes here. We will do the same. Win one of them. <clears throat> if he goes here or here, we will just play rook g3 right away and win. So what about moving this knight? Well, if he goes here or here, then we go with our rook to e3. And we will get one of them. And if he goes to here or to here, then we play rook c7 and we will win one of them and of course this these two squares are already covered by our rook so we cannot really move anything so okay he let just try to move his king to b5 and get it a bit closer and try to protect so he can move his knight here well it's not quick enough now it comes rook g3 and we are attacking this of course he can't go here or here we will take it right away and if he moves back to the e, e file on e4 or e6, we just play rook e3 and we will get one of them. And if he goes to f7 or h7, we play rook g7 and we win one of them. And there's actually nothing else he can do. So we will win one uh, of these knights and win the rook. Rook and the pawn, 
against a knight that is an easy win for for white we will for sure win that so i hope you found this i think it's really brilliant and uh, i think i covered all the lines if not tell me in the comment section you can also make a comment about what do you think about this did you solve it or not was it easy enough or uh, was it really hard well have a great day everybody see you later bye bye